Now I'd like to call upon Detective Inspector Jim Smith, the Ontario Provincial Police Organized Crime Enforcement Bureau, who will outline the results of this investigation. Uh, today we have the details of how members of several law enforcement agencies have worked uh, collectively to identify and arrest several people who import and distribute illegal handguns for the United States into Canada. The Organized Crime Enforcement Bureau was formed by the OPP to address high-level organized crime issues affecting community safety. Its mandate includes investigating those criminal elements that are working in and preying upon communities throughout the province. In our efforts to combat organized crime, we often say that we focus on three pillars. Uh, they are prevention, intervention, and suppression. Today's announcement has taken months of legwork by OSEP members and our partners. This investigation was supported by members of the OPP Essex County Detachment, uh, the Windsor Police Services, Emergency Services, and several investigative units, and the Canadian Border Services Agency. We also continue to work with a number of partners at the municipal, provincial, federal, and international levels. The United States Immigration and Customs Enforcement, Department of Homeland Security Investigations, and the United States Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives also play key roles in bringing this lengthy investigation to a close, specifically the importation and sale of illegal firearms between Michigan and Ontario. Over the past several months, Team members utilize a variety of investigative strategies and techniques to identify and collect evidence against several suspects involved in the importation and sale of illegal guns. The weapons were being sold on the understanding that they were destined for organized crime groups operating in the Greater Toronto Area. In late February 2016, eight search warrants were executed in Essex County, Windsor and London. As a result, 10 people have been charged with 111 offences under the Criminal Code of Canada and the Controlled Drug and Substances Act. Our focus was on holding the people responsible for these crimes accountable, but in the process we also seized eight prohibitive weapons consisting of seven handguns and one Tech-9 machine gun, two kilograms of cocaine, various drug trafficking and packaging and paraphernalia, $67,000 in Canadian currency, $10,500 in American currency, and three vehicles as offense-related property. The accomplishments and successes in firearm and drug-related enforcement over the past several years are a credit to the excellent police work and cooperation among the men and women of our police services. The acquisition, sale, and distribution of illegal guns are an ongoing threat to Ontario residents and communities. Police agencies throughout the province, whether municipal, federal, or provincial, are taking guns off our streets every day. We have several units that are devoted to that task, and they do a great job.